This is gonna be a very different kind of video simply because we usually make human food. But ever since that my family now grew to whole four dogs and one cat, you tend not to know what to feed them just because you see all these different packages and food items in the grocery stores that tell you they're great for your dogs. I'm not gonna name brands, but there's a bunch that are really absolutely terrible for your dogs. They have a lot of ingredients that you wouldn't even you know, give to your kids or eat yourself, so why would you give them to your dog? So I'm gonna show you how to make treats because I find treats really fun, especially when you're trying to train your dog. These are very useful and they're really easy to make. So we teamed up with Landers to bring you some nice pet treats and everything that you see here. We actually purchased at Landers. You guys should check it out if you haven't yet. So very simple, we're gonna start with some oat bran. I've got one cup in here, two cups of rice flour. Mix that together, two eggs, about half a cup of water. And when you're done with these, you're gonna ask yourself, why haven't you done this? ever since. About half a cup of canola oil, a little bit of my vanilla essence in there, some peanut butter as well. So I've always actually wondered and asked myself, you know, what we taste as people, is that exactly the same way a dog tastes certain things? But at the end of the day, your dog will not eat certain things. I've actually put dog food in front of my dog and he will not eat it. So, so something like this, oatmeal, rice flour, eggs, vanilla essence, peanut butter. To me, honestly, if I taste it like this, Tastes totally fine. There's not much sweetness because we're not adding sugar or anything like that, but it's it's definitely edible as a treat. But for a dog, they'd go crazy for this. We'll go ahead and get our baking tray out. All right, so we're just gonna do a long cylinder. We'll try different sizes because sometimes things might be too big for certain dogs, so we'll just make little ball pellets. This goes in the oven at around 325 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna say it's gonna take about 20 minutes to cook down. All right, in the oven. See how this turns out. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Should be ready. So all you want to do now is kind of let this cool, drip out all that excess oil. So this is Pancho, French Bulldog. He's three years old, um, and my treats worked. It looks like a bone. Let's just now see whether or not he will actually go for it. Ooh, ooh, I think this might be a fail. Let's put it down. Okay. Tiens, Let's try smaller pieces. Ah. So as with anything, usually it takes a while for dogs to get used to different types of food, but you can see that he actually likes it. Instead of buying treats in the shop, you can go ahead and try to make them for your dogs and then use them when they're being good. I think Pancho enjoys his treat. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We're actually gonna be making a bunch of pet videos just to make sure that people know what they're giving their dogs to eat and at the same time, just how to make extra treats to make them feel extra special. As always, make sure to subscribe and just click here to see more videos of the same nature.